In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the different options we have for the header. So in Buddy Boss theme options, click on header. So to start, we have three different header styles. We can go with this first one where the logo is to the left. We can use this one where the logo is in the middle. And we can also use this one where we force the body panel to be open and put the logo in there. This is really useful if you have a tall logo. If you have a tall logo, then it's not gonna look nice in here. So you might wanna do this and you can always shut it. So I'll go back to this. And then we have sticky header. So you'll notice that when I scroll, that the header sticks to the top. I can turn that off. And now the header scrolls with the page. Header height. Will just give us a huge header. I wouldn't go that big, but you might want to, if you, depending on the size of your logo, you might want to adjust the header height to make sure everything looks looks nice. And then um, header shadow. So you'll notice here that we have kind of a drop shadow here. You can turn that off. And well, the shadows there still when you're scrolling, but in the main position, it's just like that. I like the shadow, but depending on your color scheme, you might want to hide it. If, if it affects things like if these are the same color or something. Just that little, that little shadow. And then we have header buttons. So we have a button for search and we have a button for messages, notifications and shopping cart. These depend on some features. So shopping cart, you have to have WooCommerce activated. In messages, you have to have the messages component activated under uh, components. So if you if you have these uh, activated, private messaging, then you'll see two additional icons here. So I'm gonna show you in a, a different dev site I have that we have those two icons appearing. So we've got messages, and this is gonna show a preview of messages that I've gotten, most recent messages which will take us into our nice inbox here. And then we've got notifications. I can see all the recent notifications I've received. And then I also have this cart. This requires that you have WooCommerce, the shopping cart added. If you have that, then when you, if you turn on the cart option, you get this nice dropdown for showing all the items that are in your shopping cart. So I can view cart. You can see we've styled WooCommerce really nicely proceed to check out. Those are the different options we have for the header icons.